Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries I have for you another as seen on television product and this time we're trying sounds pretty freaking incredible. In the infomercial he plugs it in that's it. He's saying no fuel needed no nothing. You don't put anything in the lighter it's not like a traditional lighter for doomsday. The deal is if this is for doomsday then we're screwed once the charge is gone, right? Let's do a little poll down below. Tell me, in an emergency situation, would you want to use the atomic lighter that you plug in and charge? Or would you stick with just the traditional lighter? Tell me. It's a poll. Put it down in the comments below and let me know. I think I would go with this because no charger needed, but I'm gonna run out of the fuel, right? In the infomercial, this thing promises that with one charge, you get over 100 lights on a single charge. That's pretty good too, so maybe I do want this for doomsday. No fuel, no flint, no flame won't blow out. We're gonna test that. Lightning bolt technology. Cheese balls. <laughs> I hope it works. Listen, if it works, it'll be a cool lighter. But it sure does promise a lot. It says in the rain, in the wind. That infomercial has this thing going through all kinds of scenarios that you go, what? So we're gonna test it. I have water. I have more spritzer to spritz on it. <laughs> I have wind. I have all kinds of stuff. And the best part of that infomercial is, he says, you can freeze it in a block of ice, crack it out of there, and it's still gonna seem that you can freeze them like that. I always call BS on that because that's hard to believe. We're going to compare it to the old school lighter I have right here. There it is. Got it. So there is your USB cord. I wonder if it's the same one like on your phone. It feels really nice. It is heavy. I wasn't expecting that. The little lighter doesn't weigh nothing <laughs> compared to this big old lighter. In the infomercial, they even say that you can get it engraved. Oh, wait a second. Why would you want it engraved when you got a bulb heads logo on the back? Keep away from children, ignite away from your face, body, clothing, and flammable material. Electric arc can shock. What, it could shock me? Oh my God, I'm scared. This yellow button underneath is the on and off, and then you have your charging with your USB charger there. In the front here, there is a button to turn it on or ignite. It does feel nice. I wonder how much it weighs. It's pretty heavy. They even run it over with like a gazillion ton vehicle. Tactical vehicle. <laughs> Why can't they just be normal? Why does everything have to be tactical? Bulb head. Just get a normal girl like me to try this shit out. I'll be your pitch woman for this lighter. I mean, listen, uh, Hunter Ellis, I'm not coming for your job, but I'm just saying. Not everything has to be military tactical. We'll believe you, even if it's not all that. <laughs> it's on the off, so I'm gonna turn it on. Bulb head, here's a suggestion from just like a normal girl like me. Have three little lights down here at the bottom, right? If they're all lit, that means it's fully charged. If two are lit, that means it's halfway. And then if only one is lit, that means, girl, plug that shit in, right? Bulb head, you should do that. I don't think that would cost that much to do it. That way we know, how do I know if I have this? If I haven't used it in six months, how am I gonna know? You see this little lighter? I can see the fluid in it. So I know how much fuel is in there. This, I don't know. What if my husband charged it a year ago and now I need to use it? I don't know. What? Oh, that's kind of scary. It kind of reminds me of my, <laughs> my taser. I don't know how much charge bulb head gave me. Obviously it has a charge because it's working, but I did bring with me a little backup battery. Maybe I can charge it while I'm trying to use it. Can I do that? A second ago, I was saying that bulb head should put like little LED lights down here to tell us how much charge it had on it. And this little backup battery actually has something like that built in. Let me show you. You see how my little backup battery has these little blue lights in there? Oh, look. Well, it has some kind of little light under there. It's just blinking, I guess, to tell me that it's charging, which is cool. 
and I imagine it might go solid once it's fully charged. You would hope that bulb head would do that. I wonder if I can use it while it's charging. Let's try it. This might be dangerous. Don't try any of these things at home. People, kids, children, whoever the hell is watching this video, this is very dangerous. I'm a motherfucking professional. Y'all don't do this. You guys saw my disaster with my clutch bomb that I created in my last video. That was scary. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, it doesn't work while it's charging. Interesting. As long as it lights the fire, who cares, right? If your husband ain't lighting that fire, this is gonna light your fire. <laughs> Do not put this up to you. Don't hurt yourself trying to light somebody's fire. Okay, so I have this little tea light. I think we'll start there. Here we go. That wasn't as quick as I thought it would be. I have a second one here. Let's try it with just the traditional lighter to see how fast we can get it to light. <laughs> Watch me burn myself with this one. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh. Boom. See? This one here seemed to take a little longer to light than this guy did. Was it just me or did you guys notice that too? And I had to get like really, really close up with the little X thing to, like you gotta get real close up. I don't like that. Let's turn these off and move on to the next test. Kids, do not play with fire. Kids, <coughs> oh my God, my office is smoky. Do not play with fire. Don't try this at home. I already told you one time, don't make me tell you two times, little kids trying to watch this video. My channel is not even for little kids. Turn this shit off. Tell your mom. The next thing we're going to try it with are candles as well, but these are made for doomsday emergencies. I swear to God, if y'all fall over, I'm going to be mad. Okay. This first one, we will try with the atomic lighter. Then the second one, we're going to try with just the regular lighter. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay. That one went a little faster, maybe because the little thing was longer, the little string, maybe. Boom, you see how big that flame is? Here we go. Okay, those are my two flames. I'm gonna turn them off now. <sighs> oh, oh. Don't play with fire, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna dunk it in the water while it's on. I wanna see what it does. Then I'm gonna just dunk it in the water, take it out and turn it back on to see what it's on. Okay, it turns off. <laughs> I was scared that my cup was gonna explode. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, it's wet. Okay, ready? I'm gonna try one more time because I didn't, I don't think I did it right. Okay. See it won't. Why? Because it's wet. Okay, we're gonna let it dry off for a minute. But Hunter Ellis, you told me that in the commercial, but it's not connecting. I'm not even gonna try this thing because this thing doesn't claim all that shit. So we're not, we know it's gonna turn off. The lighter, the lighter ain't trying to sell us that hard. Like this shit. So I turned off the video and allowed this to charge more. Should be dry now. It's been charging for quite some time. Oh, here we go. Just press the button and it lights the first time every time. I'm holding it for like 10 seconds. Let's test it under our spritzer how about that and i'm going to turn on my wind blower here to see if it let's try the regular lighter to see what happens i don't know i'm curious now hey look at that the regular lighter won't turn off either. The actual lighter is getting kind of hot. I mean, it's not hot, hot, but it's warm. Now let's try our wind test. And then we'll try wind and rain. 
it's a whole monsoon season in here. Even during the windiest rainstorm. One, two, three, go. What's happening? Look. I can hear it, but I don't see it. Rain. Nope. Does not like the rain. First, wind. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Tez done. Did you blink? You missed it. <laughs> that regular ladder does not like wind at all. This one did hold its flame for a, a second but I'm not impressed with the wind test. It seems to turn off after a couple of seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After nine seconds, it turns off by itself. I don't know why you would need it to be on for longer than that in any scenario, but I'm just saying. If you need a flame for more than nine seconds, you're screwed. Is this thing only programmed to hold it for nine seconds? Bulb head, leave me a comment down below let me know because what if I need it for 20 seconds? I don't know how or when, but I'm just saying, what if I did? A li this lighter is going to burn my thumb off if I hold it for 9 seconds, but it'll stay. Let's light this tea candle with the atomic lighter while kids are trying to blow out the candle because it's a birthday party. I'm going to turn on the wind first. No. It won't light it. If I move away the fan, it starts to light. If I put the fan on it, it... So I stopped the video for the second time. I had this thing charging for one hour and it is still not completely charged. I'm not sure how much juice it got from that one hour of charging, but it better be enough to complete this video. Otherwise, you're going in the trash, Mr. Atomic Lighter. No, too much. I shouldn't have to charge this little bitty ass thing for more than an hour. I'm gonna dunk it in water. Hunter Ellis, don't play. You're gonna owe me 20 bucks if I dunk this in water and it doesn't work. I still have to try it in my block of ice over here. Do not blink, do not look away. This is the most important part of this video because we're about to find out if I'm gonna ship this back to Hunter Ellis and he can go ahead and send me that $20 check he owes me. He doesn't owe it yet, but I'm about to find out if he owes it to me. Oh my God, I'm gonna just dunk it for like one second. Oh wait, but it, <laughs> let's check it. It should work. Okay, it still works. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now we'll be able to completely dunk this thing. Are you ready? Dunked. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Still working. I'm gonna dunk it like this. Ooh, where did those bubbles, where did they go? Hey, it's still working. Look at that. Hunter L at this one at Walmart. They weren't engraving that day. I don't know. Fixed it. What do you think? Now mine is personalized. For our final test, which is leaving this thing to freeze. So I'm gonna put it in here, put it in my freezer, allow it to freeze into a block of ice, and then we're gonna crack it open to see if it still works. Put your bets in, folks. Put it down in the comments. Guys, it keeps turning on by itself. Even when I closed it, it turned on. I can hear it turning on. Oh my God, this is so freaking dangerous. Let's see. I want to show you without touching it. Oh my God. Oh, see? It's on. No. No. 
that shit turns. Watch, I'm gonna close it. Watch it turn on. <gasps> See? I don't know if mine is maybe just a bad unit. Oh my god. No, ma'am. I'm scared. Could you imagine? Fucking purse starts melting at the mall. No, girl. Y'all better be careful. It's already a fail for me because it will turn on even though I'm not pushing the ignite button. So to me, it's a fail. You're not always gonna be thinking, oh, let me go turn this off. You're just gonna use it and throw it in the drawer like any other lighter. Here are my final thoughts on the atomic lighter. It did not pass my wind test. It kind of passed my water test. I had to let it dry before it turned on again. It takes forever to charge. I charged it for an hour and it still wasn't fully charged. You have to get so close to light a candle. Something is like really deep in there and you gotta reach all the way in there just to make sure that the little flame touches your candle. I don't like that either. But I think they make a longer version of this thing so you might wanna try that. It is well made, I do like it. I don't like the bulb head logo in the back. I always say that. I just think it's tacky. The thing that really pushed this over the fail edge was the fact that it turned on when I was not pushing the ignite button. What the hell? I understand that there's an off and on underneath, but I don't think people, normal people, all you perfect people out there, I know what you're thinking. Vivian, that's why you gotta turn it off. I get it. Not everybody is as smart and on top of it as you are. I'm sure there's some of you guys that are gonna remember to turn it off, but you might forget. And if you forget and that shit starts to turn on in your purse or in a drawer or in your pocket, you might be in trouble. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me. In the comments down below, let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.